<coughs> it's easy to get lost in the video of the broken windows, police clashes, and the fires. But beyond the chaos, you can hear the crowd chanting the name of the man whose death sparked these protests. George Floyd was killed during an arrest in Minneapolis last week as an officer pressed his knee into Floyd's neck for nearly nine minutes. You could hear Floyd complaining that he could not breathe and he called out to his mother just seconds before he became unresponsive. Mama! Get up! We're getting Mama. the car right! This video is sparking anger. Pure anger and rage at this point. And it is causing people to fight back tears. Bro, as a black man, I'm sorry. I can see the system. I can see the limitations. I can see when we are targeted as a people. These protests go beyond just what happened to George Floyd, but shines light on the countless number of black people who've been killed at the hands of law enforcement in this country. It should have been gold shown when MLK was marching on the streets, but the fact that we still gotta be out here doing the same old days all over again, every 100 to every, we're tired. All humans need to live in peace. If we have no peace, then we have no right. We have nothing. You see, these protesters, these people, just want to be heard, taken seriously, and for something to be done to prevent situations like these from happening again. You want us to stop burning down? You want us to stop being angry? Then guess what? Change the law! We are doing this for a reason. We are doing it for a cause. I have this blood on my hand for a cause. A cause they feel is worth fighting for. Black lives matter. Until you get that through your head, we can't say all lives matter. Michael Quander, WUSA 9.